Hello, my name is Karak City 2 and welcome back to our Omnifactory playthrough. Just crafted up one of the circuits so I could complete these quests because we forgot to do it uh, yesterday. So there we go. There is the tier three, tier four circuits. Um, that opens up the crystal processor mainframe. Uh, still need to get a couple of things here. Um, but we have gone ahead and we've got the HPIC and uh, yeah, why don't we go ahead and get this started at least. Let's do that, I think. Yeah, that. And that will get us the dust that we need. And then I guess we'll just do, I know there's other ways to do this, but yeah, this is just kind of how I've done it. That to that, and that to that. All right, so that is, that'll be the HSS steel. Now it is better steel than uh, the what we already have. So if you want, you can do the tools with it. Um, but it's going to be a while because the, the other steel is like, I mean, I've had this for quite a while now. And uh, it works fine, but I, I'm pretty sure it's better. If we look it's, uh, out of 4,000 durability, this is yeah 5120. So it is a bit better. Uh, crazy though sometimes it doesn't uh register um i noticed that i can't remember i think that was a greg block you replace it with an item sometimes it doesn't register on the uh interface terminal all right so that's Probably that crystal thing and ooh, no I have the crystal oh I have that automated that's right we automated it in the the thing all right but uh, what do we want to do today is question and I think I think I want to that's not what I want And I hope I have room for these. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness. This is... There we go. Plates. All right, there we go. So, compressor, lathe. Ooh, that's the last one I have on here. Frame. All right, there we go. So I think that, is that everything? Yes, but I, I have, don't we have, I'm pretty sure we had, Yeah, we do. Um, man, what did I use all? <laughs> I went through all that redstone. What was I? Oh, probably the red alloy. Yeah, probably that red alloy. All right. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> I hadn't realized I had done all that. Yeah, red alloy. So uh, let's turn that off for a second. Um, because we had to fill this entire thing, which is quite a lot of ingots, and we also had to fill this, which is quite a lot of ingots. But once it backlogs, uh, then it'll it'll be fine. But uh, yeah, I know that's definitely not 
the best way to do that, but eh, I'd rather do uh, use a bit more redstone than having to craft up more uh, LUV machines. All right, so what do we want to do today while we're just kind of waiting for, to get some of uh, that? Um, well, we need to craft up this, what I was doing right before I started, uh, just for the quest at least. All right, so I have this draconium dust. I think we turn it into... Apparently not. And that is, that is annoying. Try this. Yes, all right, so there we go. This needs to be the draconium, <laughs> so you could do either version. But, uh, all right, there we go. On information tablets, I don't really need, because I am, I've done it plenty of times. All right, um, titanium dust. What do you need titanium dust for? Ah, that. Don't I have a, I thought I had a, I did. But I pulled it out because I ran out of room. Alright, I need to craft up a think. No, we don't need to. This can just go. Or washing plant. Don't need. So we'll put this. We'll make a new uh, thing for this. I should upgrade the Universal Macerator, but... And it kind of like all depends, like, oh, what tier should we do? Eh. Now let's leave that so we have extra room for the compressor if we need it. Yeah, I'll just throw another interface and that'll be fine. Oh, there is that. All right. Anyway, well, we have a few things we need to do for these draconic anyway. Um, sapphire and water. And those water cells are a bit annoying. Actually, I don't quite need the draconic cell right this second, but uh, I think we're going to need it. Yeah, we need to get a fusion reactor before it looks like... Uh, I need it. Um, it would be nice to have a uh, <laughs> a uh, what are those things called? What's the? Oh my goodness, I forget what they're called. The react, not the reactor. The uh... oh my goodness, what is it called? I could just look in the book. My goodness, what is the the big uh, the big battery thing? I can't remember what the heck the name is it called. But all right, anyway, let's uh, like let's figure out what we're doing. I guess um, superconducting. I'm just getting distracted here. Um, all right, that looks like it's uh. Dragon eggs. Like what? Ah, stem cells need dragon eggs. All right, that's why that. Uh, just kind of curious. Uh, we don't need to work on the next tier of circuits yet. Um, but it looks like we're gonna need dragon eggs from the tier six micro miner, which is fine. Um, I think we need to be working towards superconducting wires, um, which is molten nether stars. All right, so that's. Um, we have a high, the high enough vacuum freezer because we purposely did that. Um, I don't think we're going to fill a fluid extractor and a thing with molten nether stars. I think what we'll do... Uh, 
how about... All right, let's do another input bus. I think we'll do it this way with a fluid extractor, but... Or input. We already have an input patch. Nice. Um, I think... Yeah, we'll just do EV, I guess. All right, so basically what we'll do is... I mean, we've done this before. This isn't some crazy new thing. Yeah, we'll do a fluid extractor there, pipe it into there, and then I guess a chest. We could do... Hmm. Protothemes right there. I could have actually done... Man, I don't want to lose all that molten cryothium. Since we can't. Although we need... Alright, well that's... I am actually going to change this, I think, because we're going to, what we're going to do is put the extractor there and then I'm going to put a input bus there with a conveyor belt and then what I want to do. Yeah, I think I'll do that. All right. Uh, let me, I can need to empty out the thing. I don't know if I have enough for, oh, I do have enough for 32. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna empty that out. I'm gonna, let me craft up a fluid extractor. We're gonna put a fluid extractor here, probably a chest right here, and then I'll do a pump down with a filter and a pump to the, the left into the thing. That's what I think I'll do. So let me get that crafted up and we'll come back. And I think that is everything we need. So I've gone ahead and moved that and filled up the new one cryothium. So what I do is I guess the easiest would probably be to put it on there. Or does that not let you? Oh. Oh, that's a fluid hatch. What am I talking about? No, that's not what I want to do. That duh. So that's gonna go there. It's gonna auto output to the, the left directly in there. All right, what we need is just this. I think we can actually just do, I think we can do that. All right, so actually that, <laughs> that one doesn't seem to work. Um, I guess the easiest. Where'd that go? Oh, there. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, that's a bit annoying that it doesn't want to do that. But... All right. So that does not want to let me put that on the bottom. Am I crazy? What if we tried like this? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, all right, still kind of learning these uh, things. I thought I would have been able to put... I mean, it's not the end of the world if I can't, but... No, it's not letting me do that. Hmm, interesting. I guess what we're going to have to do then... Place this down and put it on that, I guess. Let me just try one more thing. If I try to place that without anything on there, no, it doesn't seem to let me put anything on the bottom. I thought you could put anything on top, but I don't know, being a bit weird. So we'll just do that. It's not, it doesn't really matter. I just was going to put them on the same thing. So import, item filter. I guess I need a, uh, We're going to need 
another star. I'm also going to need a draconic wire. Um, it's crafting up the cryotheum. That's why that does that. I still have it crafted up more CPUs, crafting CPUs, but I don't usually run into an issue. Man, are we out of nether quartz? I have a couple here, but um, should probably have well, I should be <laughs> smelting glass up in like a multi-smelter. Haven't built it yet, but uh, yeah, because I, I should upgrade this. I mean, it's relatively fast, but it's still, I'm kind of waiting, so that's not ideal. All right, there we go. Uh, another star. There we go. I also haven't looked at if this can could be All right. Yeah, it does work. So white star imp or import another star whitelist, and then I guess why don't we just do? Oops. Oh, can you not? Apparently you can't put conveyor modules on an import bus. That's good to know as well. Can do that though. Import filter put in wire. Alright, so in theory. Nice. No, this is export. So I'm exporting out of this into the thing. So that should have melted down the thing, and then that should have put that in there. Um, we only had enough for one. It's one draconium wire per thing. But that did look like that worked. Yeah, there we go. There is our super conducting wires. Nice. Um, let's just do a quick recipe there. Wish this would just like change when you're trying to shift click it in, but oh well. Wait, that's not that's not correct. We need I need another node star in there. All right, um, maybe we should. Um, it depends how much we're going to craft up here. It does want us to get a superconducting coil block. Um, yeah, it might be time to get a multi-smelter for all this glass that we're going to be smelting up because we need it for nether quartz. Throw it like, <laughs> why not? Like right here, right in the middle. A little crazy. Um, yeah, because if we need like lots of these, yeah, I don't want to wait. And we kind of need to craft up a multi smelter anyway. All right, uh, let me. This is super easy. Super super easy. Yeah, this is what HV circuits. So let me get let me get this crafted up, and uh, we'll check out the multi smelter. And we are back. I'm just going to do, I think, HV. Um, just because kind of just fit. Well, it's, I just put it right here. And that is, uh, HV was right here. All right. And of course, there is some spiders. They're <laughs> in there, I believe. But we'll just do that. And then... Throw that there. Probably puts the input output bus on the back. Just realized I need one more interface. 
And uh, basically what the multi-smelter does, it scales to whatever coil you use. So if we look at one used in multi-smelter, level 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Um, I'm just using Nichrome because I had some from the Blast Furnace from before. Um, I did end up pulverizing the Tungsten for the Tungsten Steel Dust. Um, so we don't have any Tungsten Steel coils anymore. But uh, when we upgrade the Blast Furnaces, I'll probably just upgrade this with the new coils. Um, so we're going to use eight of the Nichrome coils. So we'll do turn the output one off and that this in the middle and then that. Oh, what am I talking about? I forgot to do the one in the middle. <laughs> there. All right, so there we go. Um, we're only doing the level four, obviously, and the speed of the the interface or the the energy hatch is also going to dictate how fast this goes. But we'll see how fast that is. I can always upgrade this. As we go so basically actually just get rid of this we won't need it anymore and then throw those on there organize those a bit i know i'm weird <laughs> all right so that should be much faster. Let's test this out. Uh, so another star. Well, actually, let's do. Did I? Hmm, I crafted up one extra. Oh, well, I thought I needed another one, but apparently I already had it. Uh, let's do. We'll do this on here. And the superconducting wire is one nether star, one draconium. So that should go in there. So we're going to need 16 superconducting wires for this quest. So we already have one. So let's just do 15. That'll craft those up. But uh, yes, let's take a look at this now definitely isn't super fast because i have done the because i've done the hv uh, energy hatch but as we can see it pulls in quite a bit it pulls in like a whole stack so even though it doesn't look like it's going super fast but it's doing like a stack at a time <laughs> so uh yeah it is much much quicker and then I can obviously upgrade it to run faster if we want, but yeah, it's already done quite a bit. But anyway, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that. And it, it does appear the that this is working. And we are getting the superconductor. It, it already did it. It went so quick, I didn't even see it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it is working. So that is our superconducting wires. Yep, there we go. And we are going to need a whole heck of a lot of these. Especially if we want to upgrade the blast furnaces. Um, now this, we're getting, like with superconducting coil blocks, yeah, it would probably be better to be sharing the coils. But like I said before, I almost find... Uh, Having more hatches to be be better. I could just do, you know, 
eight blast furnaces in a row with shared coils, but I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like with the amount of fluids that I need, I would have to craft up more blast furnaces, and then I would end up crafting up more coils anyway. So, I don't know. It just seems... It doesn't seem like sharing the things is with the amount of fluids that we need. Because I have, what, eight? I have eight different fluids, I think, now. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I think seven, because one of them, I think, primal mana is in both. So I have seven different fluids in there. But, all right. Uh, Oh, that was quick. We need to do that, and then I'll just do this manually. I didn't think that was going to go that quick. That went really quick. Oh, it needs 16. No! <laughs> All right. So let's just do 16. Oh, okay. Does it need 16 for... I know we need them for this, the Mark One Fusion. Because it needs a, f yeah, I know it needs the fusion coil block, which for the thing, but I don't think we need, I'm trying to think. It's a bit hard to see, unfortunately. <laughs> like that. Um, it doesn't need, Does it need super it doesn't need superconducting it doesn't need superconducting through them because that needs 32 of those no i don't think it needs that does it anyway um yeah well uh, like we said we are working towards the fusion reactor I'm trying to remember what it needs in the middle because it's different in Yeah. It needs, oh man, does it need, it may need superconducting coil blocks in the middle, which, oh well, I mean, that's fine. We got this all automated, not a problem. All right, uh, let me cut here and we'll be right back. And we are back and uh, I think uh, I'm going to, we're gonna have to craft up the tier six now. Um, so I've gone ahead and Put in a few recipes. Also, I think we got a Draconic Core. Uh, just so we finish that thing. But obviously, we do need Europium, which comes from the fusion reactor. But uh, I added a couple recipes. Most of the stuff was actually already in it. <laughs> the, um, the resonant thrusters I had to add and a couple of things. But I think... Uh, field generator I had to add. Everything else was actually already in the, the system. Um, I do need some radium salt. I actually don't need it, but I'm going to need it sooner than later, so I just went ahead and crafted up uh, that. Oh, wait. What? Is that tier 2? Ah, it's tier two. <laughs> Whoops. I was thinking that was uh, a tier one. All right. Well, we have tier one. And some of these gears, I actually need to add them because I have since gotten the extruder for it. There we go. All right, um, so there is the tier two. Um, let me get that really, well, would like to get this craft up. Unfortunately, the way I have the recipe set up, I may actually just change that, to be honest. Let's just change this because I have to kind of do it manually at the moment anyway. Uh, because the fluid extractor does not do radium, it has to go in an electrolyzer, and I don't have that set up. 
So I kind of just have to manually put the radium or the, the radon in there. So that will basically, that'll do that for us. So I think that will, yeah, that should craft that up for us. And then we can craft up the tier six. Yep, there we go. And I like having that. <laughs> Auto crafting, but uh, that should be everything. Yes, so that is everything available to the tier six miner. Now, this is going to take a little while because, as we can see, there is a lot of endurium that we are going to have to smelt up here 66 endurium. Um, so, what I'm going to do is get this going, and uh, we will come back next episode and um. That's right, I need to get, uh, I keep meaning to turn this on and I keep forgetting because I wanted to show <laughs> the, uh, we have 12,000 something buckets. So that the tier four was it? I don't remember which one it was. Yes, the tier four that got us two stacks of dense oil sands, we got over 12,000 buckets for it. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to show that. And I have it turned off at the moment. But we will turn this back on. And get that going. Um, because I need the naphtha. But uh, I just wanted to show how much we got from that. <laughs> the one rocket. Uh, you get so much oil sands from that. So, uh. Yeah, also, I found some tungsten steel coal blocks. I thought I pulverized them down, but apparently I didn't. <laughs> they were in that uh, regular chest over there. So, yeah, I just replaced the, the thing with the tungsten coal blocks. But anyway, uh, yeah, next episode we'll come back and we will progress a bit more. Uh, pretty cool that we finally got a multi-smelter <laughs> crafted up, though. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.